Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is Assuming that a particular chromosome has equal numbers of the four bases, what would be average size of the pieces formed by cutting the chromosome with the following restriction enzymes? And here is the two uh, restriction enzymes and here is the recognition sequences where this restriction enzyme would cut. And the question, would this average size change if the chromosome had 60% of the AT base pairs and 40% GC base pairs? And you have to explain. So, first uh, let me start with theory. Imagine that we have a pool of four bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. And I just used four bases here, but uh, of course you should understand that in each cell we have uh, millions and billions of uh, these bases. But because these bases would be present in equal quantities, we can say that adenine uh, may be present in 1 billion copies and cytosine can be present in 1 billion copies and thymine in 1 billion copies and guanine. Uh, the relation would be the same. 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio. So quarter would be adenine, quarter guanine, quarter zymine and quarter cytosine. So now imagine that we have to fill one place here. So what is the probability that here we would find zymine? And probability would be one quarter. So we have four bases and probability for uh, zymine to be uh, find here would be one quarter. And the same also applies to the cytosine. Cytosine also would have one quarter uh, probability to be here to fill this position. And this applies to all the rest bases. So um, we can say that the probability would be one quarter. And what is the probability would be if we have two places here to find a um, sequence, for example, adenine, adenine. And uh, once again, if we have uh, one quarter adenines here, and uh, then that means that we have one out of four chances that first place would be filled by adenine. And one quarter chances that the second place also would be filled with adenine. And now we have to multiply these probabilities and we can say that probability to find this sequence made by uh, four different bases. So we can uh, have many places here before and after. But uh, probability that we take two places and would find adenine and adenine would be 1 out of 16. Now let's return to our question. So uh, we have two recognition sequences. Here is the first one. Now imagine that we have a long piece of DNA, uh, for example, 100,000 bases. So how do we calculate the probability that we would be able to find here uh, this uh, sequence? How frequently we can find on this uh, stretch of the DNA and we are going to apply the same rule. So we have a sequence that is G, T, C, G, A and C. So what is the probability uh, that uh, first place would be filled with G and this would be 1 out of 4 and uh, because all these bases would be distributed equally, we would have equal chances for each base to take this place in this sequence. So basically this is going to be 1 quarter raised 6. And the answer here going to be 1 over 4096. So 
that means that we can find such sequence on the random piece of the DNA per every 4096 bases we can find one um, sequence that is going to be the sequence and uh, this can be anywhere in the middle in the beginning or this can be found anywhere within this fragment of 4096 bases in other words we can say that uh, we expect if our uh, random chromosome uh, piece would equal to 20,000 bases we can expect uh, it to be cut in one, two, three, four, and five places. Once again, I gave you an answer when we have equal distribution of bases, so adenine base pairs with uh, thymine and guanine with cytosine, and these bases would make up 50%, and these two bases also would make another 50%. So equal distribution, that means that if this pair would make 50% and adenine always base pairs with thymine, adenine would uh, be found in frequency of 25%, thymine in also frequency 25%, guanine frequency also would be 25%, and cytosine frequency also would be 25%. So altogether they would account for 100%, and each base would account for 25% frequency. Now let's take a look at our problem and, and the question is uh, would this average size change uh, if the chromosome had 60% of AT base pairs and 40% of GC base pairs. So this time we have to take into account that uh, adenine and thymine frequency would be 60% and guanine and cytosine would make another 40%. What does it mean? That means that adenine would be present in frequency of 30%, thymine also would make base with uh, adenine base pair, so also would be present in 30%, guanine would be present in 20%, and cytosine would be present in 20% frequency. For our following calculations, you have to keep in mind that, uh, for example, 1 fifths equal to 20% and 20% equal to 0.2. So all these three numbers are the same number. So uh, in our calculations, now we would use uh, decimal numbers. For example, guanine would be found in 20% um, frequency, so we would use 0 0.2. This is going to be frequency of the guanine, and uh, thymine we can find in frequency 0 0.3, 0 0.2 here, 0 0.2 here, 0 0.3 here, and 0 0.2 here. So now we have also multiply all these numbers just like we did in our previous example and uh, the new frequency would be 0 0.000144 but this is not going to be a frequency we have to do one more calculation here we have to find reciprocal of this number so what is the reciprocal is this is uh, such a number that uh, when we multiply this number by that number we are going to get one so basically we have to divide one by 0 0.000144 and uh, the answer would be 6944 and this is going to be a fragment 
lens. So uh, this time we can find uh, enzyme restriction site per uh, 1 per 6944 bases. And as you remember in our previous calculations, we had the same restriction site per uh, 4096 bases. So this shift in frequencies of these bases also means shift in uh, frequency of how often we can find this restriction site on our DNA fragment. In other words, uh, if distribution of four bases wouldn't be equal, this would affect how frequently we can find uh, this uh, restriction enzyme site on our DNA fragment. And now we can do the same calculations to the uh, second uh, restriction enzyme site. So here is the second sequence that is uh, G C G G C C G and C. Once again, if uh, we would have equal distribution of the bases, uh, our calculations would be as follows. So one quarter here, one quarter here, one quarter here, one quarter here, 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 here and here. So in other words, this is going to be 1 uh, divided by 4 raised 8. And the answer would be that we can find this uh, sequence on the um, given DNA fragment one such site per uh, one over sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six bases. So this is uh, if all the bases can be found in the same frequency. But as you remember, the frequency of uh, G and C in our calculation should be not uh, a quarter or not 25% uh, for each base, but 20%. So that means that here we would have 0 0.2 frequency, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So, all the bases would be present in uh, reduced frequency. And this, of course, would affect our calculations. So, this time we have 0 0.2 raised 8. And our answer going to be 0 0.00000256. Once again, in order to give final answer we have to find reciprocal of this number or such a number that when we multiply this number by that number by reciprocal we are going to get one how to find this number is very easy we have to divide one by this number so 0 0.00000256 and the answer would be three nine zero six twenty five this number would equal to the length of the fragment where we expect to find this sequence and as you see this uh, sequence also shifted so before the probability we were uh, to find one such sequence per every 65,536 bases, now it is one um, chance per 390,625. And for our first calculations, as you remember, to find this sequence, uh, probability also shifted from one per 4,096 bases to 1 per uh, 6944 and uh, as you see 
I show you two variants of the calculations, one with fractions and another one when we have decimal numbers. So you can use any system that you prefer, that you feel more comfortable to use. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.